I'm going to talk with two amazing musicians this morning, the first one being Woody Jenkins. Now, to give you a little background on Woody, he has played with so many notable musicians, including Jimmy Buffett. He was Buffett's studio guitarist for many years. He was also one of the first musicians to grace the stage with Buffett at Margaritaville. Now, Woody moved away from the Keys for a couple of years, but he's back now and has formed the band Jenkins Lee. He has a new sound and a new vengeance. Woody, thank you for being here with thank me today. Thank you for having me, Jenna. It's a pleasure. Now, Woody, I've had fun reading up on you, and I noticed immediately that you have such a long history in music. You were in your first band at the age of 10. Yeah, I was uh, uh, in my the, about the fifth or sixth grade. I can't really remember, but I was in a band with guys that were in high school. And... Um, it just pr progressed, there were the hideaways, which later on in life came, became Color Wheat, mm -hmm. the band that I was in from North Carolina for years and years and years. Traveled the world, we even played Saudi Arabia. So cool. And you were young then, you were with, you were with some yeah, older people? Yeah, I was about uh, probably in my mid-twenties then. Okay, okay. And you've just been in different bands all over the place. So you're from North Carolina, Woody. Mm -hmm. How did the Florida Keys come into your life? Well, I started down here. I had a two-week job with Hugo Dorte and the Full Sail Band at uh, the Pier House mm -hmm. back when Havana Docks was there. Okay. And this was a long, long time ago, about 84. And we had a two-week job, and we came down here for those two weeks and stayed five years. I don't know how that happened, <laughs> but it did. You know, it just mm -hmm. um, it was just a long summer to me. Mm -hmm. You know, because I'd, I'd been raised in the mountains, I kept waiting for it to get cold. It never did, so I just <laughs> stayed down here. And made uh, a lot of friends, a mm -hmm. lot of money. Mm -hmm. and had a lot of good times. Good. So you were just playing all over the place. And then I, I mentioned that one of the big-name musicians that you've played with in the past was Jimmy Buffett, and mm -hmm. you were one of the first musicians to be on stage with him at Margaritaville. Yeah, open the night at Margaritaville. It was mm -hmm. fun. Uh, Jimmy and I used to get together and put his songs down on a cassette tape back when they still used those. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we would send those in to... Um, uh, his record company, mm -hmm. and they would pick the ones out of the songs that we sent in that they would want on his album. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had a shoebox full of those tapes somewhere, and I can't find them now. I, <laughs> I wish I, I really wish I could. Yeah, those would be worth money too, right? <laughs> well, just memories. You know? Yeah, no, that even more important yeah. would definitely be the memories. Okay, so you said you had a five-year summer here. <laughs> Yeah. And then you, you did leave the Keys, though, I for a while. I left the Keys. I met my, f my wife and the mother of my child, Deb Hudson, who is the Queen of Soul mm -hmm. here in Key West. She also plays with us uh, uh, in Soul City. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, we immediately started a family. I have one daughter who's getting ready to have another uh, son. Not another son, but getting ready to have, to have her first son, mm -hmm. my first grandbaby. I'm really excited about it. That's so exciting. Well, congratulations now <laughs> yeah. on, on your newest addition. Woody, do you have a highlight of your career? Yes, I do. It was the night that I got to, I was, I had just got off a 58-foot Hatteras. Shrimp Boat Sound had just opened up, and they were making the Hot Water album, and Duck Dunn had not showed up yet. But Steve Cropper, Stevie Winwood, and Russ Kunkel, and Jimmy Buffett, and Robert Greenwich, and the, the, everybody else in the world was in there. Big names, you know. And, mm -hmm. and, and that one night, I got to play with all those guys. On, uh, um, and one of the cuts made it onto the Hot Water, onto the Hot Water album, which was really cool. Very cool. So you'd say that's probably... I'm the last thank you on the album. I did get my name on it. <laughs> well, good for you. Good for you. And that was one of the highlights that you can really remember. Now, even when you, you moved away, you met your wife, had your kid, did you still play music? What oh, yeah. Yeah, because Debbie was a singer, you know. That's mm -hmm. how we made our living. We did a duo up there, and we did one down here for seven years. And mm -hmm. um, It's... We get along a lot better now. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, great. Well, I'm glad that you're back in Key West and you formed the band Jenkins Lee. We're going to be talking with Amy this morning, but tell me a little bit about Jenkins Lee. Jenkins Lee covers everything from the Allman Brothers to Zach Brown. We are so proud of that band. Uh, um, Amy's husband, Steve Schwartzberg, has helped us with some really good, you know, not campy or corny sounding tracks that we can play along with on some of the things. We don't play with them on all the songs, mm -hmm. but um, doing a duo with a guitar and a saxophone, you, you just about have to have some, something else coming from the stage, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, we're booked all over town now, and mm -hmm. Amy's going to talk to you about that. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, uh, Sunday, we are at uh, the little room, the little jazz room. Mm -hmm. Monday nights, we have Motown uh, Mondays, which is just a blast. Everybody gets to uh, go back in their childhood, you know, mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and relive, to think, think about where they were when that song was popular. And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All the memories come yeah. flashing back when they hear. That's the most fun gig that I think that, that I have. It's the hardest, mm -hmm. but it's the most fun to make it really sound Motown. Mm -hmm. Now, Woody, your favorite thing to be doing is the Motown night because you love those Motown songs. I grew up listening to it. You know, that's the only thing that would come in in the mountains you know, on AM. <laughs> you know, that's all we had was AM stations up there. And it would come in late at night and I'd put it under the little transistor radio under my pillow and listen to that stuff and go to sleep to it. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, James Jamerson was the bass player for the Motown people, and that's really the main thing. If you play the right bass part to the Motown songs, and anybody could have sung to those tracks. Mm -hmm, they mm -hmm. were so good, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, and, and been a star. And what people don't know is it was all one band. Really? That did that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for Stevie Wonder, for um, Aretha Franklin, for all the all the Motown. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to have to come to the Little Jazz Room and hear Motown Night sometime soon. And as I mentioned, we're going to talk with Amy Lee right after these messages. She's going to give us a complete schedule of where you're performing at. Woody, I'm glad you're back in the Keys, and, and thank you for joining me. Thank yeah. you, Jan. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take a quick break, but as I mentioned, I'll be back with jazz saxophonist Amy Lee. Stay with me.